Dumont against Asplund. First place showdown of the North Division is underway in Syracuse, and the Amherst win the opening faceoff. For the Amherst, here's a rush for Rochester. Right wing side, Wayne Simpson drags in. Backhand, chance, oh, a sprawling stop by Pasquale. Puck loose, kick free into the corner. And he gets back into his crease as the puck comes up ahead. It's poked out to center. Left wing side, Kevin Porter shoots. Stop by Pasquale, a second chance rebound, they score. It was the third try and Remy Ellie stuffs it home. And the Amherst strike on the power play just eight seconds in. 15.40 to go in the first period, it's one nothing Rochester. Pasquale made the initial save on the point shot. There was a juggled rebound. It came into the middle. There was a second shot and then a third chance. Remy Ellie had the third opportunity after Taylor Lear got his stick on the second try. And so Rochester connects on the man advantage. Has a man cutting out in front. Calfoot centers. Broken up. Gets it back out in front again. Rolls in front. They poke away at a save by Wilcox. Puck is settled down by foot behind the net. A delay call up coming. And the Crunch are going to get a power play out of this. Try to pass it over a few sticks. Taken down by Dalton Smith. Here comes Gooley off to the races. He's in back here. Chance. A oh, great save by Pasquale. And he got the whistle as the puck was coming free. Now oh, Brendan Gooley, the defenseman with great speed, trying to throw it through the five hole of Pasquale on his backhand. Eddie stacked the pants together. Just squeezed it up in the last moment. Here's a strip by Carter for Hagee. Centers out in front. Stevens drags and shoots. Blocked. Gooley got a piece of it. Stevens shoots off the side of the net. In behind Dumont Rapp attempt, here's a couple of stuffs. Here the crease, they score! <laughs> Mitchell Stevens puts the crunch back into a 1 1 tie. 12.43 to go in the second period. Third goal in his return from injury for Mitchell Stevens, and the crunch are tied at 1 1, less than halfway through the second period. It's a hard-working shift for the crunch. Dumont dragged it towards the crease, set a backhander right to the near post on the back door. Stevens taps it home, and it's a tie game 1-1. Puck is ladled behind, Porter has it. Ooh, Lear's loose in front, here it comes. He's got a chance at a backhander, it rolls into the crease, and Pasquale's got it covered. Oh, Eddie just able to get a piece of it. Lear got tied up as he tried to lift the shot. He was all alone in front. Finally, some pressure late. And he couldn't poke it in. Yannick Veyu turns around to the right wing circle, has an option back to the right point, finds a man in the middle though. It's Borgen, shoots and scores. Will Borgen puts the Amherst right back ahead. It's 2-1 with 10-21 to go in the second period. The fourth line for the Amherst doing some work again against the crunch. And Yannick Veyu with a good pass to Will Borgen. And the rookie defenseman gets his second goal of this season to put the Amherst right back ahead 2-1. And so the Crunch unable to capitalize on their momentum after tying the game. The Amherst have had a couple of good shifts in a row. And they go right back up to one. We're tied up by Casey Nelson. Yoni Tamla gets it. Falling down but gets it back to the right point. Ruta shoots, tipped wide. Brassard got a piece. Rap attempt, a good save made by Wilcox with the left pad. He'll get it out to center. Here comes Cal Foot leading the rush. Up for Ross Colton, right side. He shoots, he scores! Ross Colton has tied it. Just under two minutes gone in the third period. It's 2-2. A quick snapper from the right circle, and Colton has tied it early in the third. Terrific shot. The crunch smelt the on man rush. Cal Foot leading the puck through center. Handed it off to Ross Colton, and at the right circle, on a mini two-on-one, he took the shot to right near the faceoff dot over the top. Corner over the left arm of Adam Wilcox to tie the game at two. Here's a puck that comes off the back of the net, and we'll see if the whistle blows, and now it does. Meanwhile, here's Conacher and Gooley, and Conacher got toppled. Will Borgen pulled him down from behind. Now Gooley trying to get after Andrioff, it looks like, for the crunch. 4.36 to go here in the third period. Wilcox gets a touch of it, and this game is going to overtime. The Crunch and the Amherst will play overtime for the fourth time this season. He gets run into, look out, O'Regan strips him with the puck. He's got a breakaway. The game on his stick, Danny O'Regan in between the circle. Shoot save by Pasquale with a left pad. Back to the point, Olofsson. Here come the Crunch. Here's a lead pass, Dumont. He's in behind the defense. Dumont on goal. Backhand chance at a kick save. Made by Wilcox. Six seconds to go. Ross Colton's got Conacher in front. Colton across. Comes to Conacher. A save made by Wilcox at the buzzer. And we are going to a shootout. Taylor Lear with a chance. 
He was denied against Syracuse a week and a half ago in Rochester. Lear can win the game. Here he comes straight up the middle against Pasquale. On his forehead shot, he scores. And the Amherst have won it in a shootout. In the bottom of the sixth round, Rochester wins the game. one nothing in a shootout. The final score tonight is Rochester three and Syracuse two. And so the Amherst have won it. And they'll go back ahead into first place, take a one-point cushion over the crunch.